Hey, Light Warriors. Today we're going to discuss good vibes and bad vibes. I need some good vibes, bro. Send me some good vibes. You've all heard these terms. Some good vibrations. Oh, those are bad vibes. We're all familiar with these terms. But these terms have scientific meanings. Today we're going to discuss the science of vibrations. And this could come in the form of constructive interference waves and destructive interference waves. So what is constructive interference? That's produced when two or more energy waves that are in phase in the same stages combine to create a stronger wave. So in this example here, you could have two energy waves that resonate and they're on the same frequency and together they result in this pink stronger wave. So when you combine vibrational synchronization, it actually, when they are in sync, they form a more powerful wave. When it comes to destructive interference, these are waves that are on totally different frequencies, maybe positive and negative things, and the result will be nothing. So it kind of destroys the wave. So these waves have many relevant meanings to our everyday lives. So like a lot of times we want to experience good vibes, good vibrations, and this comes mainly in the form of like-minded people. When you are surrounded with like-minded people, you could feel that your energy increases. When you gather maybe with multiple people at a party, or maybe you're just hanging out with your best friend, and you're actually feeding off the energy, and your friend or the group of people as a whole are feeding off of this energy. So when you combine these energies, it produces a greater wave, constructive interference. Nature and our surroundings also can do the same. Sometimes you could have energy and you could feel maybe average amount of energy for the day. And then you, you go to the beach or you go out in a park and you're enjoying a nice sunny day and it actually increases your vibration. This is constructive interference. When you hydrate with quality water, maybe you eat certain foods that pick up your vibes. And these vibes are going to interact with your vibe. So combining these waves will result in a more powerful, more energetic wave, constructive interference, vibrational synchronization. Sometimes we carry stones with us and these stones give off a vibration and they could constructively increase our peak vibration. So a lot of times we could be say here in blue, vibing around, you're vibing around and then something else that's on your vibration, maybe on the 5D, maybe you meet up with other 5D people or eating higher vibrational food and it picks you up. So you will result, the result is a stronger, more powerful more energetic wave since everything is a vibration. Then sometimes on our journey, we have destructive interference. So again, this blue line could be your vibration and then you could come across something that's on the total opposite wavelength and it will result in maybe fatigue, maybe the decline of your health. A lot of times, destructive interference comes in the form of people. Like when we come across the narcissist, this brings a lower vibration. 
A lot of times when we have relationships, they're supposed to flow like the water, nice and easy. It's not like we're trying to swim upstream against the current. It's going to tire you out, right? They're going to they're going to siphon our energy away. It's going to flatline. It's going to flatline. This is the result. The energy levels. Sometimes certain foods, low vibe foods, you eat these foods and then all of a sudden you feel tired after you eat these foods. Start to listen to your body, right? Your palate will begin to change and you got to be in tune to how your body reacts to the food. As you go through these changes, you go through the ascension process, whatever you would like to call it. But as you raise your vibration, your palate will change and certain foods you will begin to reject. Always listen to yourself. So when you're intaking certain foods, you want to eat something healthy and have energy. But if you are taking in food and Afterwards, you're feeling tired and flatlined, the result of eating the food, that food no longer resonates with you. These are lower vibrational foods. Sometimes you might eat something sugary or, or something heavy, it sits in your stomach, and then you feel tired afterwards, where you had actually more energy before. Food is supposed to give us energy, not take energy away. And this is a good example of destructive interference waves. You need to get rid of these lower vibrational foods. Remember that time I, I tossed out those pixie sticks? Remember that video? I threw them 20 yards away from me. Get out of here with that low vibrational food. Some of you remember that. That was for a Mandela effect video, pixie sticks. But I would never put that in my body Number one, knowing what's in it. And number two, just by simply when you intake food, a lot of this is trial and error. See what resonates with you. And if you are taking in food and it's making you more tired, that's destructive interference because some of you thought that was a joke when I, I tossed those pixie sticks, but that is a lower vibrational food. And that lower vibe is going to flatline you. It's going to take away your energy. Your surroundings can also flatline your energy. Maybe you're out in nature, you're with the sun, or maybe you're in a building, right? Certain buildings where we go to work might not be the best surroundings and we could enter these buildings. It could be something physical in the building and it could lower our vibration or there could be a uh, pent up energy in that in those rooms especially my empaths that are in tune with these exterior energies there could be a low vibe room because of energies that have or situations that have happened in that room or in that building and you could feel the vibration some of you have heard the term but this is the science of that. That's destructive interference. Maybe those activities that happen there, maybe the materials that are in this location are not in vibe with your wavelength. Destructive interference. Sometimes we consume certain television shows and mainstream media and all of a sudden destructive interference again, we get tired and we get flatlined because what we're watching is actually lowering our vibration. It's destructive interference from where we're supposed to be, Dep depending on what you are consuming. You might watch certain shows that are increasing your vibration. You feel great afterwards. Maybe you put on the news and you feel depressed. Start to listen to your body and listen and feel. This is the age of feeling. And if you feel that destructive interference, turn it off. Sometimes we need to walk away. 
whether it's walking away from things we consume like TV, turning it off, or from people. Sometimes in our everyday life, we come across narcissists that are part of our journey. And in the old matrix reality, we're told to stick it out. But sometimes we need to walk away. You can walk into a room with people, unlike the party, maybe some strangers, and you might feel an off vibe, destructive interference, and your body is picking up on this. People might speak to you, and you know that they're lying. And just by them speaking, it starts to drain your energy. Animals are able to do this in the wild when they're walking around. A deer senses a lion or, or some kind of carnivore that's there. It knows to run away. It doesn't walk over and ask, are you going to eat me? It just knows because it feels the vibrations. We have that ability as well to pick up on these either constructive or destructive interference waves. And just like the animals, we will be able to do this going forward. But these senses have been blocked from us due to subconscious programs. Some people were always able to sense these things, but the subconscious program said because we can't see it, because we can't taste it or feel it, it doesn't exist. But in fact, they do exist. Listening to certain things can also throw us off. Mainstream music is tuned to 440 hertz, which is the furthest from any of the core creative frequencies. If you are vibing as a natural living thing and mainstream music is tuned to something that's way off of anything that's natural, destructive interference again. Some people are listening to music, but subconsciously they're making a vibration that is destructive to your core vibrational frequency. Look at the amount of anxiety and depression that is going throughout our society. When we're not aware of these things, we can't have rationalization. Why? Why do we have so much anxiety, depression? Because there are many things that are purposely put in place to be destructive interference to your core vibrational frequency. Maybe you're out in nature listening to birds, listening to the waves, listening to the breeze. That's constructive interference. There's no right or wrong to anything, but it's about feeling these waves and what is the result? You're becoming a 5D being and you're your own authority. So you have to feel the results. There's no right or wrong. It's what you feel and what resonates with you, right? Does it resonate or does it not resonate? So sometimes we hear this term, send me good vibes. I need good vibes. Those are bad vibes. But there's actually science behind these terms of good vibes and bad vibes. And these are known as constructive interference waves and destructive interference waves. So what do you think about this one, Light Warriors? If you have anything to add on, leave them in the comments. If you find this message interesting and you like to learn more about our reality in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, why don't you click subscribe, give the video a like so it becomes visible to more people, and please share with one other person, because if we all share with one other person, we will rapidly grow our 5D community. And if you have been on this journey and you've been following this channel, make sure that you click the bell next to subscribe. A few people haven't been getting the updates, so you actually have to physically go on the channel click subscribe, then a bell will appear and click all next to that. And a lot of times 
there will be another relevant video that I've made in the past. And that video will be located at the top at the pinned comment. So I know some of you have been on this journey for about a year and we're growing every day. And a lot of people are new to this channel and the concept of the fifth dimension. So if you are new, uh, there will always be a pinned comment along with what's present in the description box. So I hope this was helpful to you. We like to take a lot of things that are part of everyday life. And I'm sure all of us have heard of good vibes and bad vibes. So this is the science that goes behind these terms. So like Nikola Tesla said, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So we have a lot of big things coming up. I'm very grateful for all of you. I hope that this message was helpful for all of you. Have a great day. Namaste.